all of our fighters have game plans that they follow. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit more retarded. Um, I'm kind of like, like, I try, like, you know, I have a plan and stuff, but it usually goes to shit and I just make stuff up. With the formation of the grip house, I've kind of always been in the kind of martial arts and like, you know, ritualistic me beating people up. Uh, <laughs> But like, uh, it's kind of when I came to Glasgow, I hooked up with some really good guys like Doug McMaster, he's like um, a black belt under Ricardo De La Hiva, Guy Ramsey, um, who runs the joint, and a bunch of other really, really talented people. And we've all kind of like, you know, you'd have people that fall away from the sport and stuff, but what happened was like, you know, we all stick with it. And now we came into, we've pretty much been able to employ all our mates here. It's like, you know, it's, it's a real good, kind of almost family feel to it. Like, you know, everyone's real tight, everyone helps out. Like, you know, there's a lot of crossover between the knowledge and stuff. and. That's pretty much it. Like, and I kind of started fighting at the same round and got a little bit of success, mainly on account of these guys I was training with. Like, you know, like James pretty much taught me everything I knew about like punching people in the face and like you know just generally making yourself a lot more tougher by getting punched in the face a lot. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like, we kind of just all got together and then we decided let's go buy a gym, let's go buy a bigger gym, and let's go buy the gym downstairs as well. At the Grip House, we offer pretty much everything there is that the mixed martial artist could want. We feel that to be a good mixed martial artist, you need to separate the sports out. So we offer various different coaches in boxing. We offer different coaches in wrestling, jiu-jitsu, um, mixed martial arts as a whole, and of course Thai boxing, which is one of the things we specialize here. Uh, we also have a great strength and conditioning program. We've got lots of really good people and, like, you know, if you're interested in becoming a mixed martial artist in this area, man, you'd be, you really want to be here. Right now I'm feeling kind of like I just had the crap kicked out of me because that's just pretty much what happened in there. Uh, mentally, like, it's kind of, it's good, man. I feel great. Um, with the sparring and stuff we do, we do a lot of sparring here. We prioritize that. Um, I feel very mentally strong. When I fight, there's only going to be one guy. Today we were doing like, you know, fucking 10 rounds of fresh guys and stuff. It sucked. Uh, but made it through it, I'm still alive and I, like, you know, maybe might have won a few rounds, I don't know, hopefully. When you do fight, like, you know, kind of like, there's only, the, like, you don't hear the crowd, you don't hear, you can hear your corner, uh, but outside stuff doesn't really come in. It's like, like, fighting's the only time I really feel, like, 100% normal. It's really weird, man. I think what Scotland and these sort of nations have is, like, you know, we are good at fighting. You know, like, we've proved that, like, you know, with our boxing culture. MMA is a very new sport and stuff, and, like, we're one of the, We've, this, this gym's only been open for like maybe two, three years. Um, so, and you, you see the level of talent that's coming in and stuff, you know, like we have like people crossing over from other sports. We have like, you know, the Scottish wrestling team guys coming here. We got like Sean Wright, he's like won like a million tie fights. Um, lots of different people and stuff, all interested in training. Like, um, and I think that you'll see more and more of these guys coming up. There was a poll on a forum and they said like, you know, who's the top five gyms in like, you know, in the UK and stuff. And we were like number five and we're like, that's cool. We got like, you know, me and James at Bantamweight, like, you know, there's like, you know, John Cullen and Dean at like Fellerweight and stuff. So we got tons of fighters and tons of guys who are really successful. Um, I think we're widely recognized as having the best gym for smaller fighters, like, you know, from lightweights and below and stuff. Um, and I think, and, and we don't get the same sort of exposure just because the UFC doesn't have that division and stuff. Like people are always asking us, oh, are you a good fighter? I'm like, hell yeah. And then they say, <laughs> and then they're asking, when are you fighting the UFC? I'm like, cause I'm freaking tiny, dude. Long term, I would like to fight in WC. I'd like to do well there for, for myself. And so like, you know, when my guys are coming up that way, I can kind of, like, you know, pass on that knowledge. Cause it's, I think it's hard to coach or like, you know, explain what they'll feel on these bigger shows if you haven't experienced it yourself. And like, I see myself becoming more of an, in a coaching role because like, there's just so much shit to do in here. Like, you know, I'm running a strength program. I'm running, I'm sparring with everyone. It's like, you know, I'm gonna die sooner than that. Uh, but I'll try my best, like, like, you know, but fighting full time as well is like, you know, it's, it's kind of what I like to do. It's, it's, for me personally, it's the best thing. It's like to thank everyone who trains here, like, you know, from the guys who are here for the first day to the guys who've been here since we started, you know, like everyone's cool. Like, I, I don't think you're going to get an atmosphere in any other gym like you get in here. Like, you know, you guys have seen it and stuff. <laughs> They're pretty weird dudes. And um, everyone's really cool and stuff. And like, you know, you'll, you'll have, you have world class guys training with like, you know, brand new guys and everyone helps out. Um, it's really a good vibe um, and it's something we're really proud of. That's probably more than anything, more than kind of like, you know, getting guys with titles around their waist and stuff. This, like the atmosphere in here is probably the thing we're most proud of.